There are five Bible verses that I believe we should be speaking over ourselves when it comes to God's protection. And before I read the word of the Lord, I would like to remind you not to place your faith and hope in this world. A good diet and exercise alone is not enough to keep your body protected against illness and disease. You need Jesus Christ, the chief physician and master doctor. A security alarm or bolts and locks on the door is not enough to protect your home from the attacks of the devil. You absolutely need the blood of Jesus Christ to mark your home with his presence. Eight hours of sleep, self-help books, and music aren't enough to give you peace of mind. You need to hold on to Jesus Christ, the only one who can provide peace beyond understanding. In summary, the point I'm trying to make is that we should rely only on God Almighty. We should have faith only in God, Elohim. Have confidence in Him. He offers full protection mind, body, soul, spirit. He offers you complete and absolute protection when you are fully surrendered in faith to Him. And so here are five Bible verses that you should meditate on, promises of protection that you should hold on to if ever you feel that you need reassurance. Psalms 32 verse 7, You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Hebrews 13 verse 6 So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Isaiah 46 verse 4 Even to your old age I am he, and even to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear. Even I will carry, and will deliver you. Psalms 3, verse 3. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. And now... Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I commit myself and my family into your hands in the name of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ upon each and every doorpost of my home, upon each and every window post of my home for protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that the angel of the Lord encamps around all those who fear him. May your angel surround my home, Lord. I pray that a holy pillar of fire may be seen where my family and I abide every night. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life today, my spirit, my soul, my body. I plead the blood of Jesus over everything in my life today. I submit all that may trouble me into your hands. I place my fears, any anxiety, any worries into your hands. Psalm 16 verse 8 says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. So each and every day, O Lord, I pray that you will be with me. I don't know what each day holds or what it will bring, but be with me, Father, and I ask that you would go before me. Direct my steps this day into the way of peace and strengthen my heart to obey your commandments. Watch over me, King Jesus. Be my protector and be my strength. I pray that whatever the devil meant for evil, you almighty Lord will turn it into good. What the devil intended to destroy me with, I pray that you will use it to lift me up. Whatever the enemy wants to use to discourage and depress us with, 
I pray that the Lord will give us joy instead. And the joy of the Lord will be our strength. Your word has given me a promise that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I declare that no weapon formed against my family will prosper. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against my mind shall prosper. I confess that no weapon formed against my health will prosper in Jesus' name. And Lord, even while the enemy roams to and fro looking for whom he may devour, I stand by the power that's in the name of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus which rises up to defeat all evil. I stand by the blood of Jesus which is my source of victory. If you, O Lord, are with us, there is none who can be against us. There is none who can oppose you. And that's why we come to you for safety. In you, we can find true protection. We can find divine safety in our homes, safety with our families, safety even within our bodies. Lord Jesus, at this time, let your power fall in our lives. Let your hand move in the midst of my affairs. As I call on the name above all names, I pray that every feeling of doubt is destroyed, every feeling of fear is thrown away, and every anxiety is no more. Hear my prayer, King Jesus, and have mercy. Your word says it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. Your word says be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I thank you for the battles that you fight for me, not only those which I know about and those which I can see, but also those battles that I don't know about and those which I cannot see. Father, I ask for divine protection. I ask divine intervention. You know my struggles, Lord, and you know where I am weak. And so I call for your help. I call for a higher power, which is you. Watch over me each and every day. Watch over my coming in and going out. The world is full of selfishness and cruelty. I look around and ask the question, who can I turn to but you, mighty God? Where else shall I find protection from the devourer? Your word assures me in Psalms 34 verse 7, which says, The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Thank you for your word that offers such blessed hope. Lord Jesus, I pray that you guard my steps each day. Protect me in all my endeavors and give me the strength to accomplish my daily goals. Lord, I am comforted by Proverbs 18 verse 10, which says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. And so I call upon your name, Lord Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus Christ today. I ask you to be my strong tower. I know that you can keep me and my household safe and that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health. I pray that you will deliver me today as you surround me with your glorious presence. As I pray, Lord, may you remove the burdens which I'm wrestling with. Remove every burden that is fighting my spirit, my mind, or my body. I thank you for being a God who sustains me and a God who delivers me. I bless your name. Amen.